Welcome to Modern Hackers, please subscribe and do not forget to like the video if you have enjoyed. Hello folks, welcome to the today episode. This will be an unboxing review of Alpha model Porsche 911, the GT3 RS edition. If you have followed the history of the model, you know this is not the first edition in this space. So if you go to scalemates.com, uh, you can see that uh, it had an edition earlier than this year. It had the GT3 edition itself. And earlier in 2022, it had the original Carrera edition of the model, both from Alpha model. So let's see today what the GT3 RS edition offers for us. Go what is inside the box. Please follow me. This is the first time I am unboxing this kit. So let's surprise together with me on that. What is inside? So I can see the well-packed uh, user manual in the alpha model style in it and uh, the standard alpha model packaging we will review each of the items one by one so first we just get out from the box what we have in it so we have the, the body the body has packed in the standard packaging We have some extensions, spoilers. We have um, the disc brakes, screws, small extension, transparent parts, wheels. We have double wheel sets, seats. And we have the and uh, because so we will see one by one what we got each of the items step by step as always <coughs> the user manual is key what we get for the money we get the four page alpha model user manual the standard one on the first page on the left side you can see what is inside the box two sets of wheels rims the body the interior shell the bottom layer some extra spoiler seats some cage in it and uh, pretty much the standard alpha model wheel adapters the discs for the brakes, some cage extensions, door openers, interiors pretty standard, the transparent part, the lamps, front rear lamps. In this box we have seven crews, so many photo edge details. The windows, the car window, looks to me a transparent film, a lot of decals more than usual, as, I, as far as I can see, in multiple colors. So black, red, dark, gray, blue, green. So, so nice sets of decals. The interior, the driving hood, the seats, how to attach the seat and the seat belt, the interior, the doors, panels, front the car 
The Wings. Spoilers. It's a so detailed kit to me. The whole layout of the car. So many pieces. The Alpha model style wipers that you need to assemble from the photo edge details. So many photo edge details, also to the radi radiators, front radiators, and then the how to attach the wheels to the car, the brakes, the photo edge details for the brakes, the discs, the calipers. How to mount the decals to the body. So impressive kit to me, so detail oriented. So that is one of the reasons this is the third edition and as far as I know there will be a fourth uh, design edition will be get released from this GT3 this year. I will start with the body because that's one of the most critical. What is the quality of the body? How it's designed, how it's packaged, how it's shipped. Let me see all. I can see some molding remaining parts which are just remain there, no, no any serious thing. The body and the condition looks okay initially. The details visible, no surface issues, no dents on the surface. has a weight, heavy, it's so thick, you have to a little bit tighten the panel lines as always, the door panel lines, that's a little bit light compared to the other panel lines, maybe to the roof ones you will need to tighten with some special tools. The details of the rear spoiler, okay, the bumper, okay the front also okay so detailed one maybe also this panel line of the, the tank has to be also tightened this is I think the panel line is the main concern nothing else the surface is almost good condition some small small dent on the top probably with some sanding you can do it you don't need to worry just a minor imperfection. Why the, the shell of the interior cabin also looks okay. It's pretty smooth. It's very smooth. And the bottom layer is also okay. I think it's similar like other Alpha model kits where you have the interior shell, the bottom shell and the uh, whole body shell as three different parts. You will need to assemble it and you put the put the parts around and the inside to the car itself. This is the rear bumper and diffuser. This is the front bumper. You also get these small spoiler details on it. So the 
the real diffusor element living in this other piece, if you can see. The wheels, tires, rims. Looks to me we get two sets of wheels and you can decide which one you want to choose. I think the main difference is that there are front and rear wheels. The rear ones wider, the front one thinner and uh, the pattern is different between the two sets. So if you can see the one pattern is uh, bigger and the other pattern is rather a star shape pattern while the other left one is rather a U shape pattern. I'm opening the seat package. Also some other body elements I can see in this box and the interiors. Dash. Okay, the driving seat. Rear cover. This is the driving dash. Detailed as usual for Alpha models. All small details available. The center console. Also detailed one. left and right door panels including the details I'm pretty satisfied in the the rear left and right in inner interior panels this is going to be the small part of the kit I put it all small parts So the biggest piece is the rear spoiler, some spoiler elements, this is the right front spoiler, this is the left front spoiler, some internal rolling cage elements. interior elements, the brakes, the disc brakes, like any other Alpha model kits, similar fashion, and you will have <coughs> the big and small brake calipers as so, well, front rear you will get the alpha model type of wheel connectors you will need to place into the body the steering wheel is also a detailed one the front lamps Some exhaust pipes, the left and uh, the mirrors, the mirror covers, some interior elements together, again some interiors, lamps, lead lamps. The door opener. in with interiors some spoiler elements left and right fender spoiler elements aerodynamics elements some interiors again pedals 
fifth time. So these are the small parts. Let's arrange a bit the decals. You get two decal sheets. Oh, it's nice. You get multiple design options. You get the black, you get the red and the blue one. Two different blue tones. Also some green one, so <laughs> you can pick which edition and which design you're interested in. You get the carbon seat, you get the carbon front hood, you get the carbon front and carbon top design. So it's pretty nice, pretty detailed one. It's uh, providing the standard alpha model quality. You get also the contour lines in colors for each of the elements of the body. You, you get these contour lines. Here you go. So you can see on the interior side, based on your color and preference, you can install these contour lines. So nice. So detailed. I don't see you find on the market any similar kits with these details. One of the most detailed kit I ever seen with this decal set. If you want to build a detailed Porsche 911, 992, there's definitely one that you should try it. Here are the transparent part. This is a critical element for every models that you build. How detailed, how transparent is it? The main lamps, transparency. The back Porsche. Big lamp. Small pieces. Last but not least part. I can see the standard alpha model quality. Means you have a label for the stand. If you exhibit this, or you make a stand, you get the Porsche 911 GT3 RS label. You get the disc, photo edge details additionally, some pedals, some steering wheel parts on it. So you can simply cut this out. You get the window edges. You get some GT3 RS additional labels, photo edge details, number plate grills on it, the wipers windshield, the brake part, the wheels, the disc brakes, you get the safety cover on the photo edge details, not to have scratched before you're using it. get additional edges you get these uh, grills further front rear to the small details of the body for the mirrors some reflecting plate you get the standard seat belt photo edge details by Alpha Model. It's also pretty impressive. You get for each kit this and for additional small parts photo edge details. The windows, 
mid on transparent fill material that's also safeguarded with some protective shield on it so you need to remove both sides the shield and you need to simply get out from this transparent film plastic the windows you need to carefully glue this to the body you should use some non-intrusive paints like uh, epoxy resin paint or, or BSI gold odorless glues pretty impressive Thank you.